Hello, everyone! We're finally live! Holy cow! My camera decided it wanted to puke just before we got online. And of course, that means I gotta reset everything. And that always takes at least five to ten minutes. So, uh, we are live and we're back up. We're gonna be running here. Uh, hopefully we got, we got screen here. I'm just going to test a card here. Quick a minute here. So it's still a little goofy, man. My camera just decided it didn't want to work this today. So, uh, I got to just do a couple more things, but we're live. So it looks like everyone's in. We got Kenny Weaver in the house. We got Fitz 14. We got Justin Davina, Douglas Hutton. Uh, Pulsar 861. So we are live. I just got to do a couple more things and we should be all set to go for tonight. So we got uh, one donator tonight. We got uh, we got uh, Space Viking with two packs tonight. We'll be opening up two of his packs. And we got the end of stream giveaway here. So let's get the end of stream giveaway. We got uh, the good old Retro Robbie sticker. And uh, we got the good old... Uh, Fleer, 1989 Fleer magnet there for you for your refrigerator. We got a Retro Robbie bonus pack there uh, with 1980 Dave Winfield. And we got the 86 with Winfield as well, although it's roached out. But there's some good cards in there with a with an 85 record breaker Fernando. Looks like we got a terrific Tom Seaver on the back and a Don Mattingly. So that's going to be the end of stream giveaway for tonight. Well, there we go. Set that over right there. And uh, just try to get everything settled. And, of course, everything's kind of frozen in time here. So, uh, uh, here we go. Oh, uh, Hunter's in the house. Hunter, yes, your package did ship out. So, you should be looking for it at the end of the week. So, uh, there we go. So, I hope it's gonna. It's probably going to go in and out. It's still trying to do some stuff in the meantime. So, Hopefully it will be uh, minimized there. So uh, just trying to get everything back into place here. So I was all set and the camera didn't do anything. It's going to be a little blurry. But I can't do nothing about that at this time. Oh, I had it all set Monday. Monday was totally fine and I didn't have any issues. And when I opened it up today, that the, the, the stupid camera didn't want to do anything. So uh it's going to probably freeze in and out here for a little bit here, probably until everything gets settled away here. So I'm just setting it up here, just talking to you here. So, oh, we'll get it ready, and then we'll do Space Vikings. Uh, we're going to do Space Vikings, good old roll going on. So, so we'll get going here in just a second. I got one more wheel to load up and we should be all set. So, all right, we got all the wheels up and running. I think we're all set. Oh, uh, besides a little blurry camera, which I can't fix right now. So uh, every time I try to dinker with this thing, it, something always goes goofy. So uh, let's get going here. Let's get it over to the packs there. Oh. Uh, you are not too late, Space Viking. You are actually on time because I was late because <laughs> I had some difficulties. So let's spin it to win it. Let's go. Let's see what Space Viking gets in his first spin. If it's going to spin and it's spun, apparently it's going to be Gold Lion. So we're going to have some goofiness going on tonight. But hey, that's all we got to do. I got to order some more uh, Gold Lion. I'm almost out. So there we go. Hopefully you can see it. We got the good old pack right there for Space Viking. Let's see what we get. Now, here we go. Good luck to Space Viking here. So let's go. Let's see what he gets in this pack. We're going to start it off there in 1979. Ted Simmons. So there we go. Ted Simmons from 1979. And after that, we got 1982 Fleer of Bruce Suter there with the... Uh, Relief Cup there. So there you go. Get a Bruce Suter from the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, up next, we got from 1982 Tops. We got Bill Buckner there from the Cubs. Get my Cubs love there. So there you go. On a 1982. After that, you're going to get a nice 1975 World Series card there. 
with the Oakland A's and the LA Dodgers. Game five right there. So there you go. So a nice 1975 right there. After that, we got Mike Prowley there from the Philadelphia Phillies on another 1982 Fleer. And after that, we got Black Jack and Dahl there on a 1990 Tops there for the Chicago White Sox. After that, boom! There we go. We're going to get a... 1959 Dick Williams from the Oakland or Kansas City Athletics there. So very nice point on 1959. Oh, there we go. I'm, oh, I'm going to get it in a second here because, man, the color is off. And I know if I dink around too much with this, I don't want it to freeze up. Oh, let's see here if I can do something here. You're going to see a little goofiness going on my monitor. Oh, uh, let's see here if we can zoom it out a teeny bit. Oh, and it doesn't seem to help any. Ah, I had this nice and done. I spent Sunday working on it and I got it to work. And of course, today it doesn't want to work. So I just guess we're just going to have to go with it, apparently. So, uh,. There we go. i trying to get the color better, but all right. There we go. Dick Williams from 1959. Very nice. After that, we got the 87 World Series. The Cardinals bushwhacked. Now, there you go. From 1988 Fleer there. Bushwhacked from game two. So there you go. From the 1988 Fleer. After that, we got the Cobra there on a 1986 Leaf card. From the Cincinnati Reds. We've got good old Dave Parker there, the Cobra. Oh, very nice. After that, we got Gary Sheffield there on a 1992 upper deck. Oh, well, there we go. After that, we got Jason Gambini there from Bowman's Bass from the Oakland A's. So that's going to be from 1998 right there. So there you go, Jason Gambini there from the Oakland A's. After that, we got Am Duvall from 2022 Tops. And the last card is going to be Tony Musser there from the Chicago White Sox on a 1974 tops there. And those confusing red and blue jerseys from the White Sox. So not too bad. Very well conditioned. Uh, 1959 Dick Williams there. 292 there. So eBay says color's not bad. So that's good because it doesn't look good on my screen. So... Oh, man, I'm so mad. I had it all nice for Monday screen. Monday's, Monday stream was perfect, and then, boom, it crashes out. i got to find what is wrong with that. So there's pack one for Space Viking. So here we go. Here comes the second spin. Let's go. Let's spin it to win it for Space Viking. Round and round she goes. Where's it going to stop? Where's it going to stop? And we got two Golden Lions. So... I'm going to give you a choice, Space Viking. You can have another Golden Lion, or I can spin it again. So <laughs> let me know what you want. Want another pack of Golden Lion, or do you want to risk it for another spin? So I'll let you do it. Kenny Weaver loves that Dick Williams. I love that Dick Williams too, man. It's a sweet card, actually. Uh, let me know what you want. The Golden Lion, or do you want a double, or you want to take a chance and go for another spin? I'm going to let you decide here. And maybe if I bring this up, it will, there, maybe that will help a little bit there with the zoom. Oh, Lion, eBay says, Paul Star says, give me the Lion, he says. All right, he's going to get the Lion. So here we go. Uh, I got to order this week. I got to order some more gold line here. Oh, uh, here we go. Man, there's old man Perry there. He's looking so old with the Atlanta Braves. So sad. There's good old old man Perry on a 1982 Fleer there. Oh, very nice. Get some old man Perry love there. After they got Doc Good in there, I believe that's a 93, 94, 94 score. 94 score for the New York Mets. After that, we got Ted Simmons there from 1985 Tops. So there you go, 1985 Tops. Ted Simmons from the Brew Crew. After that, you get old Bud Black from 1986 Donruss. Uh, there we go. The golden ticket is still there. I have it. 
No one's got it. Oh, you see the golden ticket. I see. You get the golden ticket. Well, let's go through it here. We'll save that for last. Uh, we got Riccio from 2022 Dunruss there. So very nice from the Seattle Mariners. After that, we got Julio by the schoolyard Gonzalez there from 1978. There we go. After that, we got Sean here on a 1993 Dunruss there from the Tigers. Get my Tigers love there. After that, get good old Don Baylor looking all happy there for the California Angels. And I'm going to just see if get a little bit of brightness there. So, again, I had the set. I had the brightness and everything all set up. After that, we got 1982 tops there of Dave Smith from the Houston Astros. And after that, we got some oral action there. Get some good old oral from a 1986 Fleer there from the LA Dodgers. After that, we got a 1975 Horatio Pena there from the California Angels. And we got Kevin Boss there from the Houston Astros. So there you go, 1984. And you found the golden ticket. So there we go. Oh, uh, we got the golden ticket for Space Viking. He gets it. There we go. We're going to open that up. And see what we get. So here we go. Good luck to Space Viking. He's getting the golden ticket. Oh, there, there we go. And let's see what we get here. Uh, looks like we're going to get a 1978 there. But who is it going to be from 1978? Oh, it looks like Andre the Hawk Dawson card. Very nice. 1978. Andre the Hawk Dawson right there. Very nice card. Oh, uh, there you go. 1978, Andre the Hawk Dawson there. Second year card on a 1978. In pretty decent shape, I must say. So congratulations to Space Viking for Andre the Hawk Dawson. So there you go. Very nice card for the golden ticket. That is going to Space Viking. So congratulations to him. Oh, uh, for myself. And I'll probably do this one right there. And I got to order one. And who do we go against? Who should the Golden Lion go against? So let me know what we should pack war with the Golden Lion. And I'll order some more here tomorrow. No, oh, you're welcome, Space Viking. Nice card. Congratulations. You got the golden ticket out of the box. So who should we pair the golden line with? I'm going to open one up, see if I get lucky. But who do we pair it with? Classics Wax, Vintage Mystery Packs, or Rebax Wax? Uh, let me know. Oh, uh, first one that says it. There we go. First one that gives a classic swags. Okay, so we're gonna open up classic swags here. Let me get it out here. And here comes the pack. Who's gonna win it here? Gold lion or classic swags? We got the lucky coin chance. We got heads. We got tails. Let's flip it. And we got heads. Classic swags is gonna go first. So here we go. Good old classic swags. Oh, uh, here we go. See what we get here and see who's going to come up on top. So we're going to start out with Ron Guidry there with the New York Yankees. So there we go. After that, we got Ray Knight from 1986 Tops from the New York Mets. We got Manny Mota. Mota, Mota, Mota. On the 1973 Tops there. Very nice 412 right there. So a decent card there from the LA Dodgers. After that, we got Barry Bonds from an oh, 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 OBG, OBG cards. Oh, yeah, 1991 OBG premiere there of Barry Bonds. There we go. After that, we got we got this uh, dad, Bobby Bonds there. So from the Cubs, get my Cubs love there with Bobby Bonds. That has to be the most airbrushed uh, card I've ever seen. Oh, there we go. 
1981 there. Looks like you played for the Cardinals for a little bit in the year 1980. Well, that's a high number card right there. So there you go. Getting a Barry Bonds from 1981. After that, looks like we got Joe Torre there from the TCMA from 1978. We got Joe Torre there from the Atlanta Braves or Milwaukee Braves. That photo showing there. So 1979 TCMA card there. One of those oddball cards. You gotta love the oddballs. So there we go. After that, we got Gabriel Arias from the Cleveland Guardians on a Bowman Platinum there. So get your hippy dippy trip. Woo, woo, woo. There you go. Get your hippy dippy. Justin's all whacked out. So he probably left. He's so whacked out. Now there he is. 2022 Gabriel Arias rookie card. And up next, we're going to get some uh, top cereal series. So there you go. Get some cereal love right there. I don't know what cereal company that's from. So there we go. Ricky Henderson from 1984. Number 15 to 33, the cereal series. I don't know what they put that in. So uh, probably grape nuts or who knows. Kick cereal, tricks are for kids. I don't know, but there he is. Good. Ricky approves of that card. He's in a cereal box, and he's on a 1984 cereal series. For a second there, I thought it was Quaker Oats, but it's not. It's just a cereal series, so be interesting to know what cereal that was from. Uh, there we go. After that, we got some 1978 rookie pictures of Steve Berkey. Matt Cuff, uh, Lance uh, Rothheim, and Dan Scharzner. So probably the only pitcher that did even somewhat decent there is uh, Dan there. So there we go. Oh, that's 1978. After that, we got some, uh, what the heck is this? Uh, adjustables? No, just minors of Tim... Uh, Link come there from the uh, San Francisco Giants there. That's his minor league card there, apparently. So get a minor league card of Tim. So there we go. After that, we get the Express. We got Nolan Ryan on a 1985 Tops there. There we go, 1985 Tops of the Express. Nolan Ryan. Uh, after that, we got good old Willie Hernandez there on a 1984 Tops. Rest in peace for Willie. That's an 84 tops traded. I can tell by the color. Now, there we go. And there's the back. 51T. So, Willie Hernandez got to meet him just before his death. So, very nice. 1984 tops traded of Willie Hernandez. After that, get an awesome 1981 Fleer of Dave Winfield there. Uh, the San Diego Padres. After that, we got Teddy Higuera from the Milwaukee Brewers on 87 Dunruss. After that, we got Dave Ross as a player there. So, before he became a manager, now a fired manager for the Cubs. Uh, there's Dave Ross on a 2004. Could be his second rookie year, second year card there. Looks all skinny there. With the LA Dodgers, we got good old David Ross. So, let's see here. What cards take it? We're going to probably say. Probably the Dave Winfield, Nolan Ryan, and what, the S Ricky Henderson? I don't know. Uh, this isn't the best, best box in the world. Uh, what do you guys think? What do you think the top three are in here? That's kind of tough. I'm going to say Nolan for sure. Nope, not Bobby Bonds. No one cares about Bobby Bonds. I'm thinking Barry Bonds. Um, let's go with Dave Winfield, Nolan Ryan. Let's go with a Ricky there. I don't know if the Moda we'll give we'll give Moda a honorary mention or it could be better than that Ricky. Uh, you guys have to let me know what you guys prefer the Ricky or the Moda. Oh, uh, Winfield was the best card Kenny Williams says. So there we go. <laughs> Dagger says he saw Cousin Rick being pulled on COG cards and wanted to pull up his emoji so bad. <laughs> That'd be funny to show to have that show up on their episode. They wouldn't even know what to do with it. So, yeah, you guys are fighting over the Moda and Ricky cards. We'll just keep them there. Let's see if the gold line can take it out, though. You, just, you never know. One card could take the whole series out. Oh. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, the 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 Bobby Bonds, the uh, traded series. They are hard to find. They're quite. They have a little extra premium because you don't see them as much. They're, they didn't make as many because, remember, 81 was the first year I started doing traded. And with the 81s, they continued the number series. If I recall, um, the original series goes up to two, 712, I believe, and then it continues on from there. Uh, yeah, it's, you don't see 81 tops traded all the time. I'm trying to build that set of it. Uh, I don't have that one, so that's definitely going to go. Let's go see what the goal line has. We're going to start out there on 1986. Rated rookie card of Corey Schneider from the Cleveland Indians. After that, we got more Ricky Love. Ricky loves Ricky. It's all about Ricky there. So there's a 1985 Tops Ricky. So I'm sure Ricky cancels Ricky there. Oh, uh, there we go. We got Ricky Henderson, 1980. Five tops. After that, we got a superstar sticker of Rod Car Carew. So there we go. That's going to be a 1986 uh, sticker there of Rod Carew from Tops. So there you go. Don't see those very often. After that, we got a 1984 Fleer of Johnny Bench there from 84 Fleer. Very nice card. After that, boom! I think I know who's going to win this one. We got a 1976 Willie McCovey from the San Diego Padres. Good old Willie McCovey there. Very nice card. Oh, 1976 in average condition. And throw all Tony Perez in there from 1984 Fleer 2. There you go. 1984 Fleer of Tony Perez from the Philadelphia Phillies. And after that, we got Bruce Bocci there from the Oakland A's. 85 Fleer. Uh, there we go. After that, we got George Hendricks there from 1983 Tops from the St. Louis Colonels. And after that, we got a nice Scott Rowland there from the Philadelphia Phillies. Newest, uh, one of the newest uh, Hall of Famers there on an 87 Fleer Ultra. There you go, Scott Rowland from the Philadelphia Phillies. After that, we got Dave Rader there from the Boston Red Sox there. It's a regular card, so there you go, Dave Rader from 1981. After that, we got Mike Hampton there from uh, 1993, Upper Deck from the Seattle Mariners. And after that, we got a nice 1968 there of Fred Klagas from the Chicago White Sox there. 229. So it could be a rookie card as well of him. Uh, two number 229 right there. So very nice. I'll add that right there to the list. And we're going to add it off there with Jason Grimsley from 1990 score. So I have a feeling you guys are going to pick the Golden Lion. Oh, uh, I would say probably we'll throw Ricky. Ricky Ricky negates Ricky. Probably that Johnny Bench as well. So I think uh, I have a feeling uh, Golden Lion probably took it with a 76 Willie McCovey right there and a 68. Oh, uh, there we go. Uh, Pulsar says good vintage. This pack of slamming eBay says. Oh, uh, I think you guys. So Space Viking says, what does Dave Winfield, Willie McCovey, and Brown Ventura have in common? McCovey beats Ryan. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, uh, there we go. Lion wins it. I agree was not two pretty decent packs right there so very nice uh there are mine and we still gotta spin the wheel for space viking so i forgot to do that so let's get to his prize wheel uh get it over here on the prize wheel so here we go uh, let's spin it to win it uh added a couple new items on there so let's spin it round and round she goes where's it gonna stop where's it gonna stop and we're going to get two 1988 Dunruss packs there. So uh, let's get the 1988 Dunruss pack here. And there we go. Two 
freshly minted from 1988. Dunruss there. You get your beautiful plaid cards from there. Hope you pull a Mark Grace out of there. So there is 1988 Dunruss packs. Let's go. Let's spin it. Round and round she goes. What's that second one going to be? What's that second one going to be? And we got a Retro Robbie bonus pack. So we got a bonus pack. Oh, uh, he's going to get a bonus pack out of here. So I got five to choose from. So I got to move this here. I got so many I've done. Uh, we got five to choose from. We got one with a 82 Dunruss Diamond King Johnny Bench. We got an 83 Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson approves a Retro Robbie bonus packs. And we got 84 Ozzy Smith there for you Justin fans. And we got 84 Tony Gwynn as well. And we got uh, Robin Young there from 1992 Pinnacle. So I'll let you choose which one you want. So you get the choose and you get the winner card. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, uh, and I'll write that down for Space Viking. Uh, Space Viking with the win. Uh, throw that on there for him. And uh, let's see what, we, what one he chooses. Oh, uh, he's so many choices for space, Mike. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what to do with himself. Uh, which one? He wants the Gwyn. Okay, so Gwyn takes it, add that to his back. Looks like he's gonna get a 1978 Jim Cat on the back as well. Oh, there you go. Congratulations to Space Viking with. That Andre the Hawk Dawson there from 1978. Uh, set that aside with his new package because his package went out this week. So congratulations to him. So you know we're gonna let's do another quickie box battle here. I'm just gonna do we're just I'll just use the other two here. We got repack wax and we're gonna take it up against. Vintage Mystery Pack. So we'll do one more pack battle here before we do uh, Ryan's Vintage Cards. So let's see what we get in here. We got the Lucky Coin Chance. We got Heads. We got Tails. We got a Flip Bet. And there we go. We got Tails going. Mystery Pack's going to go first with the Dreaded Tape Job. Oh, uh, here we go. If I can get into it. Oh, uh, I need to get a better taping mess mechanism. So here we go. Uh, all right, let's go. Let's start it off there with 1987 tops of Tippy Martinez. Uh, here we go. After that, we got another 1986 rated rookie. This time, a Mike Woodward from the San Francisco Giants. There you go, 1986. After that, we got 1983 Jim Gatner there from the Milwaukee Brewers. And after that, we got terrific Tom Seaver and his family there. Oh, yeah, you got to love that 80s hair that she's got going on there. It must be her daughter. I'm going to assume that's the wife. That must be her daughter. What do you think? Her daughter was hot back in 1990 there with the uh, hairdo. There's terrific Tom Seaver from Pacific. I believe that's 1992. There you go. After that, we got Rance Mulligans from the Toronto Blue Jays on a 1985 Dunruss there. After that, I got Tim Jones from 1990 Tops from the St. Louis Cardinals. After that, we got the big cat, Andreas Galarraga there from the Montreal Expos. After that, I got Frank Lacorte from the California Angels, 1985 Tops. After that, we got Dennis Martinez there, 82 Fleer from the Baltimore Orioles. And last card is Zane Smith. Woof. That was an awful pack there. I don't even think there was a star in there whatsoever. I don't even know who to pick out of there. That was a lame pack. So I guess if someone had to open it up, it was me. I think this might be one of the few times Repacks Wax might take a series here. Oh, mustache pack. Oh, yeah, there's Dennis there. Uh, there's Rance Mulligans with a stash. A couple stashes. Yeah, Tippy Martinez there. That's just an awful pack right there. There wasn't even a card that's worth anything in there. That was a junk pack. I think Rebags Wax is going to take it before I even uh, open the first card. 
<laughs> Repax wins it. Yeah. Wow, you don't see that very often. But here we are. Let's see what Repax Wax is going to give me. We're going to start out with 83 Benny Alaya from the Baltimore Oreos. More mustaches going on. More mustaches than Tom Selleck can shake his hands and stick with. After that, we got Mark Salas there from the New York Yankees, the 1987 Fleer. After that, we got Mike Stanton on 1992 Fleer from the Mill or, sorry, uh, Atlanta Braves. After that, we got Jesse Jefferson from the California Angels on 82 Fleer. Man, this is ain't getting better. After that, we got 85 Carmelo Martinez from the San Diego Padres. After that, we got Kep Merker there, 1991 Dunruss. After that, at least we got a vintage card out of here. 1977, Tom Murphy from the Boston Red Sox. I'm going to say that Tom Murphy from 77 is going to take this uh, pack wars. Who knows? After that, I got 82 Steve Comer there from the Texas Rangers. After that, we got a very faded Bob Malicki there from 1989 Tops there for the Baltimore Oreos. We got Mark Kubich there from 1981 Fleer from the Minnesota Twins. After that, we got the crime dog, Fred McGriff. Okay, at least we got a Hall of Famer in here. Oh, there it is. Oh, a beautiful 1993 Flair card from the San Diego Padres. So I think we got a winner in this pack. At least I got a Hall of Famer in there. After that, I got 83 Fleer of Ivan De Jesus from the Philadelphia Phillies. After that, we got Carlos Martinez there on a 1990 upper deck from the White Sox. Got a gold checklist there, the Mets, Blue Jays, and the Brewers and the Expos. And that last card is going to be a 1984 Roy Lee Jackson from the Blue Jays. Well, they didn't have much juice in it either, but I got to say, I think just the Fred McGriff probably values more of all those other cards. So, wow, two stinkers, but... I guess I gotta declare Repax Wax the winner. Oh, wow. That's two lousy packs right there, my friends. So, doesn't count because he has a word of Blue Jays jersey, Dagger says. Come on now. He was good with the Padres as well. So, there we go. Oh, I got a bunch of junk cards there. Oh, oh well. What are you gonna do? All right. We gotta do. Retro Robbie Roulette featuring Ryan's vintage cards. So let's shuffle it up. Let's get to it. Let me get my good old piece of pen here and paper and let's spin it to win it. Round and round it goes. And three or ten, three or ten, three or ten. We got ten. Pack ten is going to be the first pack. All right. Let's close it. Let's spin it. Let's spin it. There we go. Spin it to win it. There we go. Round and round she goes. Where is going to stop? Where is going to stop? We got number nine. So ten and nine. Back to back packs. There we go. Uh, we got the packs. Let's spin the cards. Let's spin it to win it. If it wants to spin or it's just going to freeze up. One of the two. I don't know. It's slowing down. We got 20. 20 is the first one. Well, we got number 20. And yeah, let's give it a shuffle here. Let's give it a spin. Uh, Dagger wants 10. And uh, everyone else wants 15. And we got 20 again. Come on now. Stop spinning the same number. Uh, here we go. We'll spin it again here. Well, I even shuffled it and ended up on 20. Oh, it's going to be 14. It's going to be 15. It's going to be 14. 14 is the second one. Uh, I'm going to give it a shuffle here. And let's see what we get here on the third spin. And look at that. Is it going to get a 20 again? Nope. Am I going to go to 8? I'm going to go to 8. Well, we got 20. We got 14. We got 8. We got one more spin. Let's spin it to win it. Uh, round around she goes. Where's it gonna stop? Where's it gonna stop? And we got 14 again. Blooming. They're just repeating all over. Usually it doesn't do that very often. So let's spin it. Uh, hopefully we get a good number. 
And looks like it's going to be 25. So 25. So we got 8. We got 14. We got 20 and 24. So let's pull good old Ryan's vintage cards here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Well, there they are. 9 and 10. But we're opening up 10 first. So there is 10 and 9. Well, there we go. 10 and 9. We're going to start it off there with a 1976 Tigers Lavelle of Arulio Rodriguez there from the Tigers. I'm a 76. So there we go. Starting out with some vintage love right there. 1976 there of Arulio Rodriguez. After that, we got Armirius Rod Reed, Ramirez there from the Pittsburgh Pirates. Oh, that was 2002 Fleer Platinums from the Pittsburgh Pirates. After that, we got a star card there. We got 1990 Tony Gwynn there from the, uh, you know what? I just realized I didn't, that Robin Young was supposed to be <laughs> for the end of stream. That is Ryan's vintage cards from last week. So we got to include that. I just got a brain fart there. So that Robin Young was last week's. Yeah. Cause I put that 79 Barry Bunnell. So that's going to go to the end of stream giveaway as well. So, my apologies. I got a squirrel moment there. That is last week's Ryan's Vintage card. So, good thing Space Viking didn't pick it because I'd have to take it back from him. Oh, there we go. 1990 score there of Tony Gwynn. After that, we got uh, Dave Anderson, 1986 tops for the LA Dodgers. We got Bruce uh, Bernal there, Bernali from the New York Mets, 1987 tops. After that, we got Tom Henke there. There's a uh, good old Dagger's favorite player there from 1991. Oh, Peachy Premier. Oh, there you go. Uh, and boom! Two, four, six, seven. Oh, one card off. Two, four, six, seven. We got Woody Held on a 1959 or second 59 of the night from the Cleveland Indians. A very nice card right there. 266. Oh, there we go. Woody played 15 games as a shortstop and 64 in the outfield. So there you go. Woody held 1959 tops. One off of the winner. So I get that card. Now, the next one's going to be the winner card for next week. And you're going to get it. <laughs> we go from a 59 to a 1990 upper deck. Kurt McCaskill. That's going to go to the winner. Uh, but I'll throw some extras in there, as you know. After that, we got a 1991 uh, scorecard of Larry Walker from the Montreal Expos. Very nice card right there. And number 10 is going to be good old Whitey Ford there from the New York Yankees on a 1992 Ted Williams or 93. Was, they did it for two years. 1993 Ted Williams card there. Whitey Ford from the New York Yankees. After that, we got Louis Benoia there from Oakland A's, 1989 Tops. Uh, number 12, we got some ass love. Don Ossie there. So we got some ass. We had some dick earlier. Another gay sausage fest coming through here. Uh, we got some Ossie and we got some dick earlier. So there it is, 1987 Dunruss. After that, we got Ozzy Smith there. That's card number 13. He missed out on another good card. Uh, 1999 Upper Deck Retro Card. From the St. Louis Cardinals there. The Wizard of Oz. Well, there we go. Uh, 1997. Oh, I guess it's 1997. I thought it was 1999. Uh, 1997, I'm assuming. Yeah, it is. It is 99. I think it's 99. Yeah, it is 1999. I just had his last year was 96. So, 1999, Upper Deck. Uh, there we go. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Kenny Weaver says, uh, next card's a winner card, and it's going to be Tippy Martinez from the Senior League. Oh, uh, nothing like the Bradington Explorers. <laughs> there you go. Before they had the Tampa Bay Rays and the Florida Marlins, you had the Bradington Explorers <laughs> of Tippy Martinez there. Uh, there's card 14. After that is going to be my autograph card. And we got Bill Doran there from 1990 score 
on a beautiful red script there. So that's a beautiful signature he has there. Uh, very nice. We got Bill Doran there from 1990 score. So very nice card right there. After that, we got Greg Litt Litton there from the Seattle Mariners on a Pacific card. Uh, we got 1994 Pacific there of Greg Litton. After that, we got good old Cousin Rick there. Getting our Cousin Rick love. Uh, Ryan's Vintage Cards comes through with good old Cousin Rick there. 1974, my favorite card of him. Right there with his long flowing mustache there. Oh, there we go, Cousin Rick. Oh, very nice. Unfortunately, it's not in the best condition, but we'll still take it. 1974, second year card there of Rick Miller. Uh, after that, we got 1981 tops there of Ken Clay from the Texas Rangers. Oh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Here comes number 19. And number 19 is going to be the black and white photos there of the Chicago White Sox prospects of Ross Bromgarter, Mike Colborn, and Mike Squires. So there you go. Next card is going to be a winner card. You are going to get Jose Munoz from 1988 Dunruss. Oh, 1988 Dunruss there. Jose Nunez from 1988 Dunruss. Right? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yep, that was 20. 21 right here. Jeff Montgomery on a 1993 Dunruss there from the Kansas City Royals. And look, it's Mike Smith. There he is. MVP car from 1981. Now, there we go. Oh, very nice. Oh, and my thing's not working. Oh, my widget's not working. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I loaded up. Oh, I must have lost it when I lost my connection. So I can't play my even. I can't play my Mike Schmidt. Man, that sucks. Oh, there he is. Of course, he's the MVP. He is the MVP of everything he does in life because he is the Chuck Norris of baseball. It's Mike Schmidt! Yeah, 81 Dunruss there, MVP Mike Schmidt. Uh, that is card 22. 23 is Mike Krukal from the San Francisco Giants. Uh, there we go, San Francisco Giants there. Uh, 1990 top six card is going to be a winner card. And very nice. That's going to go to the winner. We got a 55 Bowman reprint of uh, Ernie Banks on a hippy-dippy chromey Refractory card right there. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, take your gummies and get off on that one. Oh, uh, from 2013, a 55 reprint of Ernie Banks. That's kind of a sweet card, actually. I kind of like it. Oh, uh, not only color, but it's refractory. That's going to go to the winner there from 19. Wow, well, it's a re 55 reprint. Of Ernie Banks from 2013 there. A tops reprint. Oh, there you go. Getting some Ernie love there. I kind of like that card. I'm kind of jealous. And the last card is going to be the Larry Bird of Baseball there from 1992 Dunruss. We got good old Robin Young there from the Milwaukee Brewers. Well, it's a lost cause. You're going to get some extra cards with this. But you're going to get that beautiful Ernie Banks. You're going to get a Senior Citizen card. Uh... After that, we got also the Kurt McCastle, but I think the Ernie Banks card is probably going to be the best card of the four. And, you know, I'll throw some extras in there as well for you. Now, well, there we go. That is the first pack. Here comes the second pack. Right there, we got uh, Will the Thrill Clark there, Dream Team. Looks like he's in a suit and tie. So here we go. Oh, uh, there is Will the Thrill Clark. Oh, 1991 score. Uh, I believe that's 91. Yep, 1991 score. After that, we got Mark Langston there from 1990 Dunruss. The Blue Series there. I forgot what these were called. Uh, like, in 87, their opening day. I forgot what this one is. So, it's the Blue Series. It has a teeny value. It's an extra penny. That's all it is. It's an extra penny. After that, we got Jerry Turner there from uh, 1979 from the San Diego Padres. 
After that, we got Von Hayes. No one knows who Von Hayes is. There he is. Get some Von Hayes love. No one knows who Von Hayes is. There he is on a O O O O P T O P T cards. Oh yeah, 1992 O P T premiere of Von Hayes. No one knows who Von Hayes is. Oh, the 1992. After that, we got superstar Dennis Martinez from the Montreal Expos. There. I believe those are insert cards from 1992, it looks like. 1990, 1992. Another insert. 1992, yep. I guess my eyes were better than I thought. 1992 there of Dennis Martinez. After that, we got Mike Lacoste there from the San Francisco Giants on the 1989 score. After that, two, four, six, seven. So this is my card. The next card is going to be your card. We got, uh, what was that, Tim, uh, Tim Nayring there. So, sorry about that. Well, I wasn't sure if it was Nayring or not. All right, that's from the Boston Red Sox, 1986. Top's finest there. So, there you go. Next card's going to be a winner card. And you're getting a 1991 Darnell Coles from the Tigers. Get your Tigers love there on a 1991. Up next, oh, man, one off. We got Robin Robbins there. Night. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight. Yep, you were one off from 1964. Robin Roberts there from the Baltimore Orioles. That is a pretty sweet card, my friends. A very nice card. Decent average condition. Number 285. Ooh, that light's really bad. Oh, 285 there. Oh, we got Robin Roberts there from 1964. Oh, after that, we got Jim Abbott there. Nice star card there. Oh, that is from 1994 Leaf there. So 1994 Leaf of Jim Abbott. After that, we got Cal Ripken Jr. there. All-star card from 1990. Let's see if that's the correct version or the error version. It is the correct version. So uh, the correct version has all-star game. The incorrect version has major league... Uh, Major League uh, Performance. Well, that is the corrected version. We got Cal Ripken Jr. there. After that, we got Mike Madden there. 1986 tops from the Houston Astros. And next card is Ed Sprague there from the Seneca Padres. 2001 there. So next card is going to be a winner card. Let's go. Winner card is going to be a retro card you're gonna get bucky dent so you're gonna get a 99 retro from upper deck as well oh uh, there you go bucky dent from night 10 11 12 13 oh, i'm off that i get that card sorry 10 11 12 13 oh 14 14 that is your card sorry miscounted there so you're gonna get a bucky dent from 1999 there you go bucky dent is gonna be your card for next week's winner here it comes the autograph. And it's Jose Rio. So there you go. I like to know how he gets Jose Rio. I have tried and tried to get his TTM and I have failed. But I, I it seems like Ryan has some connections because I can't get Jose Rio's card. I've I sent it out I think twice and never gotten a re, re, return to me. So we got a 1992. Jose Rio from the Cincinnati Reds. There we go. Uh, Dagger says Sprague is a Blue Jays hero. Uh, there we go. After that, we got Scott Bankhead there from the Seattle Mariners. 1991 Dunruss. After that, we got Ariel Brito uh, from Oakland A's from Upper Deck Collector's Choice there from 1998. Oh, there you go. And 15, 16, 17, 18. Oil Can Boy there from the Montreal Expos on a 1991 Leaf. After that, we got Andy Van Slyke there from the Pittsburgh Pirates on a 1988 Fleer. Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 is going to be your next card up, which is going to be going to the winner. It looks like it's going to be a vintage. We got 1978 Skip Lockwood there from the New York Mets. You got some skip action from the Mets on the 78. That's going to go to the winner for next week. Oh, at least I do have Rio. I, I, like I said, I've tried and tried to get 
his TTM, and he's never sent it back. I'd like to know how Ryan got it. Well, up next, we got Mitch Webster there from 1987 Tops. Uh, there we go. After that, we got nice 1977 Tony Perez there. A uh, very nice card. 1977 Tony Perez from the Montreal Expos. Oh, there you go. Oh, very nice. That's on an oh, beachy card. I know it's hard to see. There it goes. Printed from my friends up north of Canada. I appreciate your oh, peachy cards. There you go. Printed in Canada, my friends. That's a 77 oh, peachy. Very nice. After that, we got some Hojo action there. Uh, 1992 Dunruss of Hojo. Get your McDonald's and get your hamburger, get your Big Macs, and get your baseball cards all at the same place in 1992. 1992 Dunruss McDonald's MVP cards of Hojo. So up next is going to be your last winner card of the night. Yeah, we got Mike Benjamin there. Holding that goofy glove from the early uh, 19, was it 1920s? So looking weird at the glove. Mike Benjamin of the San Francisco Giants or New York Giants when they played then. Oh, there you go. Get some Giants love. And that last card is going to be Lee Guterman there on a 1991 upper deck from the Yankees. So at least you're going to get one vintage card out of there. I'll include some other good stuff for you as well. Uh grab your cards and of course i'll add some more to that list and all i gotta be here is back next week hopefully with a better functioning camera Ugh. oh we will hopefully fix the camera for next week like i said it worked perfect yesterday and of course today it pukes on me so uh oh uh, we got that and let's see, we got a few minutes since I started late here. Let's open up something else. Uh, what do you want me to open up? Let's see, what do I got left around here that I can open up? I don't have much available. Uh, all right, we're going to open up some junky here. I see it right here. Now we're going to open up some junky 1991 Fleer Ultra back when these cards were cool. Well, they're not cool anymore, so... All right, we're going to... I'll give a sticker away for the Endostream giveaway as well. Why not? Let's give a sticker away. We already got one sticker. There's our sticker. What team is that going to be? Dodgers. So we're going to give a Dodger sticker there to the end. Let's see what I get out of this junky 1991 Fleer Ultra. We've got Randy Myers from the Reds. We've got Stan Belinda there from the Pittsburgh Pirates. Corey Schneider. Got another Corey Schneider card there. This time with the White Sox. Kurt Young with Oakland A's. Don Robinson of the Giants. Gary Pettis of the Rangers. Scott Ruskin of the Expos. Albert Bell from the um, Cleveland Indians there. Uh, Dave Johnson of the Oreos. Tony Pena from the Red Sox. Tom Henke there. There's another Henke love for Dagger with the Blue Jays. Brad Arnsberg from the Rangers. Kevin Seitzer of the Royals. And Jim Gatner from the Brewers. Woof! That was an awful pack. I'm going to stop while I'm behind here, man. Those are some awful, awful cards I've opened up today. Man, been a stinker of a night. Uh, Hunter says Retro Robbie were the... One of the worst designs, 1991. Uh, I think for Fleer Ultra it was. Not only that, but there's absolutely no one in there. No real good rookies that year in there. And uh, they're just, I mean, the only thing that's worth anything in these things are the gold inserts that they put in there. If you got a Ken Griffey Jr., that would be worth some big money. But, man, that was a wolf bag. There wasn't even a semi-star in there, I don't think. Oh, uh, woof. That was awful. Uh, we'll stop while we're ahead here, <laughs> behind. Oh, uh, man. My luck's got to change here sometime. All right. We got the end of stream giveaway here. So, again, I added that sticker, so you can get an extra sticker. Get your retro route. Actually, you know what we got to do? I forgot. We pulled a Mike Schmidt today. Oh, uh, we got to add a Mike Schmidt to the 
effect. So we got to add that Mike Schmidt card right there. Our sticker. So you can get three stickers. So there you go. Three stickers. Retro Robbie sticker. And almost out of these numbered ones, they're not going to be numbered after 250s. So uh, get them out. They're hot. Uh, there's not many of those numbered left. So you can get 1989 Fleer Magnet as well. Last week's Retro Robbie Roulette there with Robin Young on the front. And Barry Bunnell from 79 on the back. We got another Retro Robbie bonus pack there with Dave Winfield, Don Baylor from 1980. And it looks like I had a Benito Santiago rookie card. And can't forget the 86 Racks packs there with the Donnie Baseball on the back. And Tom Seaver there, so you get a two for there. So there we go. Well, that's going to be the end of stream giveaway. And you know how this goes. Do I got any 91 tops? I do have 91 tops, Space Viking. Maybe I I, I, I kept the box for uh, amateur night with the friends, but I can open. I can probably break one of those open here. Uh, I might do that next week, Space Viking. I gotta go find it because I think I got buried in a box. Because like I said, I have a box for uh, amateur night, so uh, that was one of the boxes that could have pulled. But I'll see if I have another one. Uh, I do like nine. I like 1991 tops. A lot of errors in 1991 tops. If you didn't know it, and you could also a chance to find a uh, uh, vintage card in there. They 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 put random cards in there in the back. So uh, yeah, I have to look into getting some uh, open a box of 91 tops. We'll we'll definitely do that for sure. So. We yeah, got the end of the stream there. So you know what we got to do. We got to use the cards of chance. So here we go. Oh, picking one here. There we go. And uh, let's see what it's going to be. All right. On the count of three, you got to guess the number or letter. Let's go. One, two, three, and go. Guess that number or letter. First one that gets it wins it. No, never found a vintage cards in those, and I bought a million of them. I found one. I think it was like a really beat up 74. Oh, uh, here comes the numbers. Oh, uh, uh, a whole bunch coming through, not seeing it. Just double checking here. Don't see it yet. Oh. Uh, no one's gotten it yet. And Pulsar 861 got it with a six. Pulsar wins. Oh, Pulsar 861 with the win tonight. Oh, there we go. Pulsar is going to get that nice package right there for, for himself. Oh, congratulations to Pulsar. So hopefully next week my camera works better. Every time I try to dink with this thing. One of these days, I'll get rich. When I get a 1,000 subscribers, I'll probably get a better camera. I tried buying a cheapy one, and obviously that was not the way to go because I'm going to have nothing problems with, the, with this, but it is what it is. So uh, thank you for joining me tonight. We're going to be back here next week, Monday, at 7.30 for the coins, and back here next week, Tuesday, for uh, the cards. And... I will have a Wild Wednesday tomorrow, so look out for that. We got a Wild Wednesday coming your way. Finally got some packs that floated in, so uh, we'll be doing Wild Wednesdays for the next couple weeks. So look out for that as well. Thank you for joining me. Have a great night, everyone. And remember, Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love and 